Okay, so this van is to receive the coal guy hmm. coming and this, explain to me this work. Hmm. So uh, this whole facade here is what's called a trom wall. Huh? Okay. And uh, a trom wall is a, a, a passive uh, heating system where you have uh, a glass facade on the outside and then you have a, a mass wall of rammed earth on the inside. And what happens is, especially with these really high UVs, in the winter time, uh, the solar radiation comes, comes through the glass wall, it heats up the rammed earth mass wall, it heats up the air that's in the gap between the, the glass facade and the mass wall. And what happens is that the air it heats up, it rises, and then it comes through a small vent, just like this one, okay. and warms the room. So the opposite is the case. Uh, you have the cooler air is dropping, huh? and then um, and then you have a, a, a kind of um, air suction into uh, because of the, the thermal differential. So this ventilator actually pulls cool air in to the cavity by the facade. That's heated, brought up, and then comes out this ventilator. And do you, and do you have an outside covering for this? Uh, yeah, in, in fact, um, there's, we're slightly redesigning it right now just so that it's a slightly more easy system. But basically, it's just going to be a simple, uh, hingeable uh, facade wow. detail. Yeah. So in the winter time, you open it. Mm -hmm. And then all of that hot air is coming yeah. up, circulating into the building so that everything is warm inside. But in the, in the summertime, when it's very hot outside, like now, and you would close these vents. Okay. So you can open the windows, but then you don't have quite the circulation of all of okay. the water. So then you've got the window the circulation in there. Yeah. You have window air coming in. Yeah. And also, like, keep in mind that it's a, a big, really big 50 cm thermal mass wall. So this actually protects, in the winter time, it keeps the cold air from coming in. Uh, it's, I mean, it stays warm. And also with the rammed earth has really great thermal properties. But also, alternately in the summertime, same thing. Huh? So the wall stays cool, keeps the inside very cool space. You have warming on the outside of the wall, but it doesn't. It doesn't. You know that heat transfer doesn't come all the way into the building. These, and these bricks are local style uh, rammed earth, mm. and they have plenty of air inside to mm. ventilate the heat. Yeah. Well, actually, we're using two types of earth construction techniques in this building. Uh, one is uh, earth block production. Uh, CSCB is compressed, stabilized earth block. And this is for all of the horizontal bands for seismic reinforcement. Uh, and also for uh, uh, window sill level and lintel level and floor level. But this is actually not a, it's not a brick. It's a uh, rammed earth technique, which is a little bit different. Uh, and this is the vernacular, local, spitty, really special for cause of technique where you have masons that are basically dancing on the walls, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and they're compressing the earth but it's a very wet technique, so the clays in the soil are very activated and it means they're not really, really compressing it a lot, but there's a lot of cohesion from the clays. So, um, so in the end you have a very strong wall that has, uh, uh, that has enough air cavities inside of it that it, it, it increases the thermal properties. Yeah. 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 Super. That's great. Thank you. Thank you.